Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your dude, your rebel, your guy, the Simpson Next Level King Sergeant, aka Love and I Two, saying what's up. Welcome, everybody, to another Key Clip episode. But this here is Key Clip 413 of season eight, basically episode 13 of the series. Season, sorry. Uh, I don't know how much we have, like, just so much in the series. Like, yikes. But uh, it's another good day out today, and uh, got a whole lot more videos rolling for you. And I want to try to make some. Quick little video, because I definitely want to try to get this really, really big special coming up soon. So, prepare for that. Now, <clears throat> we looked at a good couple of games. Uh, for starters, uh, for 4.11, no, 4.10, sorry. We looked at the uh, classic game of Bow the Builder, the laptop game. And it was a very uh, particular type of game. It was not bad. It was uh, just all learning and stuff. And then we looked at the, uh, the classic Atari for uh, pole position. Now, of course... Same brand, you know, everybody, everyone has played the arcade most of the time, but like having it on the Atari looks somewhat similar, different, but you know, it's it's all good. So we are going to look at a, another game, surprise not with the same uh, console, but one of the competitors, Coleco's Donkey Kong, yes. Now, before I say anything, or before you guys kind of commit to me on something, Keenan, do you have a Coleco Vision? Nope. So how are you going to play the game? easy this actually works with atari you can actually look at that right there yeah so compared to how like games are that we used to grow up with like the playstation uh okay xbox didn't do it but like uh the ps1 and ps2 days you could play a playstation one on a ps2 right and i think ps2 for ps3 i don't remember for real but imagine coleco some of the coleco games can actually work on atari because i think I think, I don't know if they were actually, no, because they were different, though, because I mean, television at that time was competitor, too. But either way, uh, the fact that I can actually play this on Atari is crazy. Now, of course, everyone has seen Donkey Kong throughout the millennia. They've seen it all, right? So, we seen the arcade. I played the arcade most of the time. I played the Mario Brothers on the arcade. Um, not a bad game. It was a good, definitely a good start. And, of course, this is when Mario that we all know and love was, once again, Jumpman. And to really think, um, yeah, and it's even, and he's, he even has Nintendo on there. So this is like a 19, should be out, should say a year. Yep, 1981. Now, of course, like I said, because the whole Nintendo thing didn't come out, the console per se was layered down the line. So that was like way later in the age. So the fact, I think the company itself was just out there. Um, but I mean, like I said, history, history has history, dog. Now, for the record, now for those of you that do know, cool, others that don't know, this is not the Donkey Kong that we know as of now, or that we've been seeing throughout every other game. Not the one with the red tie. This is the other version, which was Cranky Kong. If you guys, he was around since Donkey Kong Country days, and I think he's still somewhat relevant in the case, but yeah, he, the one with the red tie kind of got more iconic, because of course... Beforehand, he was also in uh, Super Mario Kart that we all seen a few seasons ago. But uh, like I said, Don Kong is always going to be a classic to me. So let's uh, pop this in the Atari, shall we? Sometimes you got to love that static. So, yeah, now this one, compared to the arcade, of course, black background's five, and then you have a little bit of the purple, and it's actually changing colors. That's weird. All right, there we go. All right, so, of course, Don Kong on top, and then Pauline before there was Peach. Let's get this started. I do, I would like to say, I do still love these sound effects. Oh, that was weird. There we go. Oh, wow, really? Okay. We have, a, it, like, this is, like, one of the most simplest games out there. Like, pole position, like I said, the steering is kind of, you know. Okay, I was, I should have went the other way. Uh, <laughs> not even close. Like I said, the arcade was so different, man. But this one right here, this is just, like, remnant scene. God, my stick. Oh, my. This, this controller. Yeah, that's going to be a quick one. <laughs> yeah, so that's going to be a quick review. Like I said, and of course, there's more stages that, that I did not complete because 
But I was just a controller because it, it goes to the other Atari, but you know, I had to do what I got to do because I know um, the hack is like you can use a Sega Genesis controller for that thing, but hey, I want to stay clean. So, yeah, I'll probably get some more, but either way, don't call for the Coleco Vision. Hopefully, I will actually buy myself a Coleco Vision, so kind of be more weird with the controls. I do actually have some games, which those are not compatible, but it's fine. So, <sighs> hope you guys enjoyed this very very quick video um thanks all for watching and of course like always subscribe like comment everything that you can with facebook king sergeant or facebook.com slash dude love night two you can also find me on twitter instagram snapchat tiktok all that dude love night two until next time stay tuned for a good 414 and i'll see y'all when i see y'all peace stay awesome